Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install Linux operating system on Windows. So here we are using virtual machine platform by using, we are going to install Ubuntu operating system that is a Linux based operating system on Windows. Okay, so let's go to browser and type. First, we need to install VirtualBox. What is VirtualBox? So VirtualBox is a platform in order to install different different operating system on Windows system. Like you can install any operating system by using VirtualBox. So there are multiple ways to install. Uh, so why we are choosing a VirtualBox platform? Because there are multiple ways to install Linux or Ubuntu operating system on Windows. So the one, one of the popular method is the WSL2. Like that is a Windows subsystem for Linux. So we can use uh, we can use a uh, Windows App Store and uh, from there like uh, we can install the uh, Ubuntu operating system. But uh, why we are using VirtualBox because uh, it is a single platform which can be used to install different different operating system. So it is a one platform where like we can access different different machines and here we can able to manually configure the all required configuration for the operating system that we are going to use as in the Ubuntu operating system. Okay, so here uh, go to this VirtualBox platform packages and select the Windows host. So click on this Windows host, so it will start downloading uh, this VirtualBox. Okay, so our VirtualBox is downloaded. So just click on this in order to install this. Okay, so this is the Oracle VM virtual machine setup wizard. So click on next. So here uh, choose your location to install. So for now, we are choosing this default location. So it's installation, yes. Okay, so virtual box installation is completed. Start Oracle virtual box. So let's say finish. Okay, so meanwhile, like uh, in order to add our uh, Ubuntu operating system into virtual box, so we need to download the ISO image file of Ubuntu from internet. Okay, so, so in the browser type like uh, Ubuntu image download. Okay, so go to the first link download Ubuntu desktop. Okay, so we will go with the, this LTS version. LTS means the long term support version. So that is a 22.04.2 version. So click on this download this. Okay, so this is a 4.6 GB file. So we have already downloaded this. So let's click on cancel. So this is the ISO file that can be required while uh, set up for your operating system into VirtualBox. Okay, so go to VirtualBox again. So here uh, click on this new configuration option. So type as a Ubuntu. Then this uh, default folder for virtual machines. So here it is asking for ISO file image. So give this ISO file image that uh, we already downloaded this one dot iso file so so here uh, we get the option for unattended uh, installation so we have to keep uh, login credential for uh, login into our virtual machine so for now like a type uh, s tech or let's keep as a default vbox user and uh, password is a by default that is a change me so you can change as per your requirement and uh, Hostname is Ubuntu. Let's keep uh, same hostname, Vbox user. Okay, domain name, Vbox user. Okay, so domain name will be Vbox user dot virtualbox dot org. Then uh, guest edition so keep as it is then it is asking for hardware requirement so in the hardware requirement so we can keep uh, this is as a default so it is a suggested as a default one so it depends on your uh, com computer hardware installation so in my case uh, i am keeping this uh, base memory as a uh, 4 gb and here to 4 gb and uh, i'm keeping the processor as four processor so i have 12 cpus and i have 16 gb memory so I'm keeping this configuration for my uh, Linux virtual machine. Okay, and here it is asking for hardware requirement. So currently it is uh, uh, showing as a 25 GB as a default. So I will keep same as a uh, my requirement also. And 
I will just click on finish. So you can see this uh, machine is uh, powering up. Yeah, so this Ubuntu is running. So installation is running. Uh, this installation might take time. So as per your uh, computer hardware configurations. Okay, so it is completing installation. So it is restarted automatically. Okay, so it is asking password. So give the password which we have set while installation. Great. So our Ubuntu system is installed. Okay, so now you can see the screen is limited to this dialog box only. So we need to full screen. Uh, we need to view this into full screen. So just go to settings options okay so here you can see different options are there so here go to display settings here you can see this resolution is uh, very small 800 by 600 so choose 16 by 9 1920 by 1080 and click on apply okay so keep changes so you can see this uh, this is enabled into full screen version so just click on close this so you can see this is a full version so here is the terminal uh, here is the options different options are there here is it is a terminal and uh, vbox user is there so type bash and type pwd in order to verify so here it is we are into the home vbox user so we can change the user also so this is the vbox user it is not a root user suppose you want to go to root user so type su and enter so it is asking for password give the password yeah so you have you have logged in with root user so ls minus lart so you have root user and like you have vbox user also okay so this way like uh, we can able to install uh, linux operating system that is uh, ubuntu on uh, windows os and uh, in further sessions like we can play with uh, different uh, linux commands and uh, we can install different softwares into uh, this uh, ubuntu operating system so stay tuned for that and thanks a lot for watching